Hello all you people out there, it's Dynamation4 and I am back with my final speed spotlight on Rotary Craft. We are on part 7 and I'm going to be doing well, basically everything I haven't done yet. So if you haven't seen it in one of the earlier spotlights, you're probably going to see it here. And that includes a lot of utility tools, just random stuff, and also um, in, um, compatibility with other mods. So I'm not going to stand to it. I'm not going to let you wait anymore. No, I'm not. Let's go. So if it's nighttime, it's kind of dark, you can get yourself some steel, glowstone, obsidian, and some iron, and you can make yourself a floodlight. All it really takes is an um, AC electrical engine, and you can get a really, really long beam of light, especially for those dark night times. Now you can get a iron flywheel core, a drill, a 8x gear unit, and you can get yourself a pile driver. Now this thing, when powered with a performance engine geared up 320 times for torque, it'll slowly plow pilot the ground making a big shaft. This is as far as it got but it also gives sickness and other debuffs when anyone's nearby it does something. Now here is the aerial sterilizer. Take some just some random steel stuff and you put in some potions and it'll distribute them to everyone around it stacking multiples and using it for longer for longer than if you drank it. Now here is a light bridge. Takes massive massive amounts of power but isn't really expensive to make so I can just power it with this thing. When it pile and when it um when it speeds up, it'll create a huge light bridge, and I'll show you that later. Um, obsidian, uh, radar unit, a lapis, and you can get a player detector. When you power it with at least an AC electric engine, it'll work, but it'll also be very slow, and the maximum detection range is 1, so if I wait long enough, it'll output a redstone signal. Now here's a scalable chest, just some steel around a chest. You get a scalable chest. It, um, the size of the chest depends on the power you put into the back of it. Right now I have a steam engine, and it gets about two inventory, two um, of the slots full. There's a liquid spiller. It takes a fluid pipe and some steel and you give it some fluids and it'll just place them into any tank that's below them. Smoke detector is really inexpensive but if there's any fire nearby it will start beeping as smoke detectors do. It'll also beep if the coil is low and by the way it needs a coil. Then here's an igniter. This thing is extremely powerful. I have it set up way over here. Um, I have it set up for a regular engine geared up two times for speed. If I give it some blaze powder and I'll only give it a little bit of blaze powder because it's extremely powerful and it'll light a huge area around it on fire. Here's the item can it give it a performance engine give it a regular um, gasoline engine from the bottom it'll shoot items to the near to the targeted item cannon in this case the target item cannon is right here or right here sorry so I'll set some items up into this one it's on some medicine energy conduits they'll go all the way across the map and we'll see those later here's some um, uh, liquid pipes around a chest and you get a uh, bucket filler. Give it some fluid and it'll just fill the buckets. It has a bit of an internal inventory. You can see it's got 24 buckets in there itself. Now you can use glass and glowstone. You get a bright lamp. Give it a coil and it'll do, you can see this huge area of light. Here is a terraformer, which I have not been able to figure out for some reason. Uh, here's the internal inventory. You need the items that it gives it. You need power, uh, but for some reason it should convert biomes, but for some reason it isn't working for me. But maybe it's because it's a super flat world. I don't know. Uh, bedrock ingot, piston, two times gear unit, you get a block ram, and you give it um, a performance engine to power, and it'll shove any blocks you put into it up to 256 blocks long. It won't retract though, it'll just push. Um, you get a mirror, steel panel, you get a beam mirror, and if it's day, it will light up a long distance in front of it. You can see that cave should be dark, but it's not. If I would hit F7, you could see this entire area, long strip, is lit up. Only at day, only during the day though. Here's a sonic borer, pretty inexpensive. Just takes a compressor and some fluid items. And what this will do is it acts a bit, it acts like a better version of the borer. And it will plow away in front of it by building up energy. Then it'll break away at a wall and just drop the items on the floor as opposed to a borer, which will put them in a chest. So you can see it does that. Pretty cool. Here's a defoliation machine. It takes some fluid pipes and a, a impeller. I haven't gotten it to work, but apparently the inventory takes liquid poison and two items, but I don't know what those items are. But you'd power it with at least a steam engine from the bottom, and it would destroy any trees or wildlife around it. Take a piece of stone and sh shaft and some steel, and you get a grindstone. You put any item in it, and it'll slowly uh, repair the durability on it. I haven't gotten it to work either. Like It's still at 200 now. It's been working for a while. I'm assuming that you could put more... Um, power into it, but right now it's uh, eight times geared up for torque from a steam engine. Here is pneumatic item pumps. 
Impeller and some steel, and you get 16 of them. You only need to power it on the very front one, but it'll suck any items you put into it out of it. And send them down a line. So you, you see, I got these all pointed this way. Hits this one that's pointed this way, and it'll put it into this chest. Then you have a cannon key, and this, with any of these cannon type things, these turrets, you open it up. This is a bug. You just gotta replace it. You open it up if you if you've placed it, and you can see the white list for anyone that it will not shoot. So if you have friends in your base and you don't want to shoot them, they would have to use their key on it. No, they would have to use your key on it, sorry. Put an engine in a minecart, you get an ethanol minecart. It looks like a regular one, but if you put in some of these ethanol crystals, it'll zoom around really, really fast. Like a furnace minecart, kind of. It'll also derail. You can get a jetpack with two combustors, two um, diffusers, and two compressors. A jetpack actually is like an industrial craft jetpack, but it runs off ethanol, which is these seeds in a magma crucible. Now, the bedrock tools I talked about earlier, you can make them like regular tools. They take um, steel shafts instead of sticks, and a lot of them come pre-enchanted. And what's really cool is the bedrock pickaxe can actually be used to pick up spawners if you're not in creative. Um, you can combine the bedrock. You can buy the jetpack with the bedrock chest plate, and it will give you a lot of protection. And also, these all have infinite durability. So impeller reservoir a bunch of steel stuff and you get a filling station this will fill your jetpack for you obviously um now for modern interaction stuff you got the you got the air compressor which takes in um rotary craft power and it converts it into build craft power you can see it's going down this pipe um this the performance engine seems to be the minimum amount required to actually get energy flowing through these pipes but then you can get it into a pneumatic engine it builds up an internal inventory eternal storage and you can see you can choose how much amount of output but then it'll drain the storage but if you get it just right the storage will stay just about constant and you get a fair amount of output next you get the friction boiler which you power from the bottom take some water and converts it into railcraft steam which you could then use in railcraft steam stuff there is a way there's an item that will convert the steam into um, motor craft energy but for some reason it's bugged, it just drains steam and does nothing else. Something I didn't talk about earlier was the rock melter. It should melt rock into lava, and it is. You can see it, you got two, thousand, two buckets of lava, and it took one netherrack to do that. So that's pretty nice. Here are the items from earlier, by the way. Um, and if you power it with a performance engine, you get comparable rates to a one tall, um, high, high powered boiler. Here is the fuel enhancer. It's recently fixed. It was bugged before. You put in um, buildcraft fuel, the yellow stuff, and it needs these items inside of it. Doesn't seem to use them up, and it will convert it to half that in Rotorycraft jet fuel. Also, what you can do with the fuel is you can put it into one of these fuel-powered engines, and it will produce a decent amount of power out of it. If you then take that and convert it back into buildcraft power, you would get much better rates, as you can see, compared to just the buildcraft engine using about the same amount of fuel. By the way, it uses almost no fuel. I filled this up with 24 buckets. It's still at 23.7. Last thing is um, thermal expansion. These pipes occasionally get glitched out. You just gotta fix them. And with the gasoline engine, it'll produce 11 RF per tick. And this is the magnostatic engine, and it will consume, um, when you set it to maximum, it'll consume about 800 RF per tick, but it'll produce 4.1 94 megawatts which is a lot and there seems to be a tiny bit of loss in between if you were to set this to even to output the same as it inputs it would lose a bit of rf over time so the total time on this spotlight was eight minutes and 13 seconds not incredibly good but there was a lot i wanted to cover wow it's really lag right there um and that's it for all of Warcraft. there's a lot in this book just look through it what's the last page last page it's 32 pages I had to get to all of it. So, that's it for Rotary Craft. And if you have any questions, please tell me them below. I can't answer if you don't ask. Um, and I'm, re I'm really good at answering your questions. Uh, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Um, spilled liquids, all that. That's it for Rotary Craft. It's a fun mod. It's dangerous at parts there's a lot in it and it's a lot about doing what you want with many many options that you have so i hope that helped thanks so much for watching i really mean that thank you so much for just watching and bye bye